All right, hey everybody, we're here at Venture Heritage Farm. I'm with John, and uh, we were just given this uh, Sumi Sansui irrigation system. We're still trying to figure out what we're gonna call it. Yeah. Like, is it an overhead irrigation? It's not a soaker. Right, we are, we have emitters spaced about eight, eight inches apart, which are gonna shoot water both directions. We're gonna we'll find see. out because yeah. really this is kind of our first time experiencing this. So yeah, together we're gonna see it. So John's already trying to process ahead of time. So let's get this on camera so we can process with you as an audience live yeah. what we're feeling. So uh, we got a hose, I think this is 330 feet or 300 some feet uh, with a little reel system. So this is what will allow us to pull it out. John, what do you got in your hand? So this will convert from a garden hose to the actual system okay. through a filter and a uh, pressure reducer, it looks like. Okay. And then I've got a little thing to shut off the water so it doesn't go through all 330 feet. So we're gonna do, I think you have little 50 foot beds here. Yeah. But we could do 100 foot. We could go the whole way later so if we So you wanted. just crimp it wherever crimp you decide it. you wanna stop. Yeah. yeah. So again, we're gonna try this for the first time. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna ask some questions along the way and, okay. and see what we got. So we're gonna start with the filter and the converter at the top, at the okay. front of the bed, and then we'll walk the hose down. So I, I'll just hook it up now to our water source. Uh, I think there's two different systems. This system uses a standard garden hose, water pressure. They have a bigger system that uh, requires more, more pressure. But for right now, we're gonna do with the, I would call more of the market gardener type system. It can go up to a, okay. a hose. Well, I guess we can show the uh, yep. connection point here. All right. So the connection's very simple. Basically we slide on, the, well you want the tube, white side up, white line up. And why do we want the white, because that's where the little- The, the perforations, perforations are on the white side. Yeah, and then sure. once you get it on the pipe, if you take this washer and sneak it over top, once you get it over top all the way, then it will, the pressure of the water will hold this ring in place. You sound pretty confident, John. Well, that's, uh, all right. didn't give us anything else. <laughs> all right, so that's good. All so right. Let's go with the middle bed here. We're going go with the middle bed. So. So I'll hold this here. All right. Get down to here. So I think I was told I need to run this thing up through. We're gonna try that out here. Okay. And then run this through. So again, we're gonna try this all out and see if in theory practice it all works out all right john i think i did my part okay you ready for water i think so let's get the video guy away from the water though first <laughs> all right all right ready i'm gonna go pretty gently here So I'm gonna turn the pressure way down here to make sure we don't overdo it. Uh, but I guess with your water source, you can adjust. The more, more pressure you add, the higher it goes. Uh, do you know what PSI this is supposed to be operating Well, it has at? the uh, pressure reducer, so I think we're okay. Well, I'd leave it all the way up. Well, we could discuss that because pressure reducers usually require a certain amount of flow before they work. Okay. But I don't know. All right, we, so we could go till we blow it out. If, yeah, see if it happens. I All think right, that's max flow there. I think let's keep it max flow. 
That's uh, quite a lot of pressure. Yeah, so we're up at six feet, easily six, seven feet. And, and it's that, covering your three beds. Well, it de the wind, it's very dependent on what the wind's doing. Okay. I have heard that's one of the challenges with these is the wind can be a bit of a challenge. Okay. So maybe um, a morning and evening would be mm. when the wind is, although, but yeah, I, when the wind dies down, it does do a little bit. So it looks like the perforations are not straight down the middle. It's like left and right of the, of the white line. Mm -hmm. So if you have it up, if you have the line. Yeah, there you go. I think you're supposed to, yeah. If the line is straight up. Do a little rotation. Yeah, it's a very fine. So it is very much an overhead. Yes. Yeah. Very gentle. I mean, you can't get any more gentle than that. And is that good? Yeah. You like a gentle so. mist? Yeah. Rather than the big droplets? I think so. Um, especially for tender, young yeah. crops. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. I mean, it's so hard to even see. Like, that mist is so... Yeah, it's, it's hitting me here. It's so fine. Yeah. Maybe if you get down a little bit, if I could, you know, can, can you see the... Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a very, very gentle stream. All right. Well, let me shut it off. And yeah, it's not, it's not leaking up here. I slid the hose on a little bit more and that it stopped leaking. The washer did tighten up. You want to make sure the washer does come all the way out as far as you can. All right, well, what are a few quick thoughts, John, on what we just saw? So that was pretty easy to set up. Yeah, I mean, that's extremely easy. Most overhead irrigation require this network on the ground, and then you have to have a stand, and then you have an emitter on top of that stand. Uh -huh. um, you know, if this, it does seem like this has the potential to cover three beds, if, you know, the- The wind is- if The wind get... would be the issue. Okay. And so that, that is, I mean, that is very nice. And a lot of people already have, uh, you know, header lines right. set up. So you could, in theory, cut and paste mm -hmm. this into multiple locations. You could, do, you could do multiples of these. And it's nice that you can just roll it right back up if you need to do work in the field, in, right. the, in the bed rather than... I do, I do know that the, the, this unit is 330 feet, but I do know that they also, we, you can buy shorter lengths. And so if, if let's say your system is only 75, 100 feet, mm -hmm. you can get hoses that are just that long. Yes. Yeah, so and and so you could set up a network, like well, you just mentioned. Are, are they really serious about keeping it on the reel? Is that important? No. Because you could put an end cap on yes, it, right? Yes, you just... could. I would think you could do that. Yeah. It's important to what? It, the longevity is best when it's constantly reeled oh, back up. Yeah, the longevity is best, rather than let out in the sun. So, mm. okay. But yeah, to cover a lot of ground, unless you're just buying a bunch of these on re a bunch of reels. Yeah. It would. It, yeah. Yeah. Some people would probably prefer to cut it and okay. fit it to their system. And I could see you putting it in the aisle as well, uh -huh. rather than in the bed. Right. Yeah. Because if you're going to go over the bed, that was a little bit more, now I just ran over my crops, but if I would go in the aisle. Yeah. If it does seem like it has enough reach. Yeah. To keep it out of your, out of your way if you're trying. And then you could do every other and still have a walking path. Well, for, John, let's, um, let me just roll it up. Okay. See how it rolls up. So I assume and then we'll disconnect it here first. Let the water out. That's yeah. probably a good point. So we disconnect it, let the water out. I'll go back and roll it up and we're going to move it over and put it over your peas and onions just to show. Okay, we, put it in the in between. In that, in the between. We'll just yeah, try it there. Sure. Okay. So we're going to go now. I think I come down here. Again, I haven't done this, so I'm just making an assumption. 
All right, I'm gonna take this clip off. That seemed to work pretty good down here, actually. I, I didn't know if it was gonna hold, but it did. Uh, all right. Put this in my pocket. Looks like Be kind of nice if the drain, the outlet drain, was downhill. Oh. So I don't know if, if that ever can is that, be. Is that doing a good job squeegeeing it out? Or it is. is. Yeah. Like I, I don't think there's much water in, but just I'm just having to kind of uphill drain the water. All right. So uh, John, we're gonna come over here. All right. Let me see if I can do this now, because you did it last time and I didn't get a chance to do it. So, start there. Slide it on as far as you can before you get the oh, washer. Yeah. There you go. That's and a good I'll idea. I'll try to. Yeah, that might be the way there. Roll okay. it over. And then then slide, slide this on as far as you can before you tighten it, once the, the nut's on it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. So. I think that's better for me. Well, let's just go the whole way, John. Show sure, everybody your pepper plants down here too. Uh, it's well, not as nice guys. over there. All right. Do the squeeze. go okay all right hit the go button let's get that water coming out it's on okay it's coming I think this is now about a hundred probably feet Maybe 150. So it does take a little bit to get filled up, but it's coming there. I'd be curious to see how the pressure does over a real long stretch. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's hard to see on camera because that's such a fine mist. Most irrigation has bigger droplets and you can kind of see the water. Here it's, it's just so fine. But as we walk back, you might, and the, the, again, the wind is a little bit of a challenge, but I think once you get some backdrop over there, you might be able to see a little better. And you know, I'm seeing that it's, 
not quite angled. So, you know, I think the recommendation is you can kind of just give it a little bit of a turn. And that was one of my questions when I first learned about this was how do you keep it centered? But the way it's kind of more of a flat egg shaped, it, it allows it to, so you can kind of adjust it and it's, yeah. That's okay, on video, Landis. come on Landis. <laughs> okay, go all the way, go all the way. Hey, run to Liddell now. Come to me Landis now. <laughs> all right, run to Liddell. One more time, come. Okay, didn't quite work. You know what, it might even serve as a, a kid sprinkler system too, who knows. Get pretty you getting wet? Pretty quick, actually. Is it kind of fun in the water? Oh yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, let's go back up. John, you want to shut it off? Let's give it a quick review, anything else, and uh, we'll call it good. That was pretty easy to set up, I would have to say. So I think from the- I don't think it could be any easier I don't, than that. I mean, I, I had no practice prior to this, nor did you. So that was a, a I pretty- I still can't even say it, what the name of it. Sumi Sansui. So there we go. Um, that's the kit we have. Uh, it can all be ordered on Tillmore.com as a kit complete. You can order different lengths of hose. There's two different sizes of hose. Uh, this is the garden size, this is the Mark II. Uh, and the, I think one of the nice things is the, is the fine spray. That has some advantages. One mm -hmm. of the challenges though with that is the wind. So mm -hmm. that fine spray then is gonna be more susceptible to the wind. So that's the, that's the good and the bad about it. Um, and ideal for families with multiple ideal kids. Ideal for families with multiple <laughs> kids. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Anything else, John? Want to sh say about that or I what you think? At the house, Dad. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, I, I think in, in an overhead situation, I think it's great. I really have never seen anything quite like this before. Make sure you put this in. Okay. Away. Okay, bud. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Landis. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to have to think about it some more. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks everybody for checking out Tillmore and uh, looking at our new Sumi Sansuis and how that can help with your irrigation system. May not fit everybody's situation, but I would take a look at it. It could be a, a good economical uh, solution for overhead irrigation. Thanks. Have a great day.